lasers, and a conveyor. Full on production in your garage or in your home. So this video is all about this new X-Tool F1 Ultra laser with conveyor, right? So this is an automatic conveyor, all these things you see here are uh, made on the conveyor. So it's pretty impressive uh, with the built-in camera, lots of features. So this is brand new and just kind of testing out all kinds of different materials, uh, showing you what this conveyor can uh, and can't do. So uh, here you have it, the conveyor. So first up, assembly, super easy. There's just a couple little pieces that you screw in uh, to the laser itself and to the underside of the conveyor. And then you just line it up and you just attach these little bolts. So super easy and then it keeps everything secure so you don't have to worry about alignment issues and you're ready to go. Uh, so just right here, I started with business cards because that's what I love doing on the F1. Uh, and I've been loving that on the F1 Ultra, it's just so fast. And just thought it would be a good way to showcase uh, what it can do with the different colors, with the black, and made really, really quick work of it. So here, just a quick early project to, to see what it could do. So there you have it, first test, uh, flawless. Uh, not a single issue. It just looks so good. This took about 13 minutes for all of these cards. Uh, that's mostly due to it was all engraving. It was a pretty detailed one. Uh, let's see what happens when I just do a scoring phase and how fast that goes. So here, doing the same thing, just running it. This is real time, doing a scoring pass. Uh, scoring, like that took about like three seconds for one card. And then what the machine does is it's just sensing each of the cards, right? And whatever the orientation it is, and it's going through the whole process. Now I will walk through the software and go a lot slower later in the video, but I just wanna give you a quick overview of what it can do. Obviously here it's sped up, but with the scoring, uh, crazy fast. So this is a great application, uh, doing business cards, a, a great way to batch out quite a few things. And really this video is gonna showcase a lot of different project ideas, uh, real time, um, some sped up, but just giving you a feel for, for how it works. But here's those scoring passes, you know, the F1 Ultra, it's, it's really fast, really clean, uh, but lots of possibilities here. All right, so other projects, keychains are great. So here I have two of my sons are helping me out and we're lining up all these different wooden keychains. My other little three-year-old is unpacking some little dog tags. But here you can see quite a few different keychains. They're all in different directions, yet I've been able to put out, I think there was 70, uh, 70 different keychains that we made. Made really quick work of it. Uh, coasters, this was a little bit more of a detailed engraving, uh, making these coasters, but made really, really quick work of it. And you can just see it just batches along quick, quick, and you can multitask while it's running and it auto senses, right? Some more keychains, leather, leatherette, another great option. Uh, if you're looking to just mass produce something, this is definitely a, an awesome setup for you. Uh, different colors wasn't an issue. And um, here you can just see, got a little fairy that we're engraving on these little leatherette keychains, but uh, this was a great application as well. So if you're looking to do keychains, smalls, really this, this machine is well suited for small items where you can just fit a ton of things on it. You certainly could do bigger items, uh, but it's, you know, more, you know, you'd probably just make a jig and just, uh, you know, rapidly just change it out without the conveyor. But these small items, you can do so many. Uh, this is real time going a little bit deeper, but here you can see a little bit of the software. I am going to do a full, you know, screen recording, go slow and show you. But uh, here it does have that blue diode laser in addition uh, to the fiber laser but here's that software a little bit more all right so i want to walk through the software just really quick to show you uh the xcs free software and how easy it is so here i am uh, i've opened up just a, a new file i'm going to hit refresh so this has the built-in camera which makes this batch processing possible and so here i have some cork coasters in there and then i just add an image uh, here's just a simple svg file you would just add it here from your files and then, uh, you know, if the picture is a little off, I can adjust it because you need to frame one, you know, just ever so. So if I want to tilt it a little bit, I can, or I can, you know, go negative 0.3 if I just want it over just a little bit. Anyway, so it's framed. I have one object framed in here. I've got my engraving settings, it's all set. I do want to be set in the mode, uh, use conveyor batch and then I'm gonna click frame out material. 
And what this is gonna do, it's just gonna walk through and it's gonna just read everything. And so I can see keychains is a great example. You wanna make sure that it accounts for the whole shape if there's a, a, a key ring or something like that, especially for odd shapes you're doing. Uh, but it auto senses, you know, simple shapes like this. So this coaster, it has everything there. So it's good, good to go. And that's it, that's it. And then I can just hit process. And then once I hit process, uh, it's gonna go ahead and start scanning everything for me. Um, it just goes through this process over and over again. And so as it scans it, if for some reason, you know, oh, this is, it's overhanging or it's not quite there, it'll just skip it all together. So you can see here, uh, the camera's gone through and for whatever reason, it didn't pick up this particular coaster. So it's not gonna even try and engrave it. It's just gonna send it on through and then I can throw it back in the hopper. And so uh, that is a nice feature that it doesn't go ahead and engrave it if, if it senses something is off. Uh, whatever that that case might be and so then you're just gonna hit uh, not play well that would just uh, show you what's going on but you're gonna hit start and then you're gonna push the little green X tool button on your controller and then it starts the process uh, like you've seen in the video and here are those cork coasters just doing those mountains are calling quick work of it I really like the cork coasters I think it's fun all kinds of coasters are pretty fun actually but the cork uh, engraves really well and that's a great application here fast 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 but you can see how we get quite a few items it might miss one but then I can just cycle back later all right so that's how you would go about it it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward there's lots of other videos out there uh, but since we're already here uh, showing some files quick little tip here if you're looking for some SVG files uh, or, or if you're new to lasers quick little tip here uh, one new website that I've really enjoyed I've done Etsy before but a new website is Creative Fabrica and so this is just a really great uh, website with all kinds of fonts all kinds of images so uh, let's say for instance I wanted to do you know a football SVG right so you search okay this is good let's go with this one uh, here's a little pack and it's a subscription right and so uh, there is a free promo free trial I have down below um, yeah, it is a little sponsored, but uh, they can check out, get 10 free downloads. You can check out more for the all access. I've done a ton, a lot easier. So it's it's not like Etsy where you're buying individual files. You just have, have a subscription and it, you pretty much can go unlimited. And then I'm gonna click download. It's, it's that quick, it's that straightforward. All right, now it's gonna send it over here. I need to unzip this folder. There's lots of other ways to do it. This is how I do it. I'm just gonna extract it to my downloads file. Um, and here, here you have it. So this might not be new for, for some of you, but, and then I have all these different images I got. So let's come back over here. Let's say we're gonna ditch the mountains and instead we're gonna add in one of these new images. Let's go to the football. I'm gonna do right here yeah we'll scale it and then this particular one you know it's always different this one came with multiple files so i'm gonna just say i want no nope, i'm gonna ungroup it first real time reality folks I'm gonna ungroup i'm gonna delete those i just want this split monogram one and this is another consideration that you need to take into account when running uh, the batch process. So right now it's already separated into two layers, which is helpful for different applications, but the machine itself um, for doing the batch smart processing, uh, it, it can't have multiple layers. It all needs to get blended together. So let's say I'm doing this and I'm gonna do, um, you know, my kids uh, football team, go junior gold and we're gonna make you know, coasters, or we're gonna do other designs. All right, I got that right where I want it. All right, so this image, I need to take everything all together. There's a couple ways to do it. I usually like to use this feature right here, uh, which is subtracted overlap. You can combine, but these these are some really helpful features here. I usually do subtracted overlap, and now it's all one file. So it's all together, one file, and now I can move those settings to engrave. So now it's just one image. Um, this would be a great you know, example. I can do this like on the dog tags like I did for baseball or something like that. All right, I've got it. I've got my settings. So once you do combine everything or subtract it overlap, you do need to go back in and change your settings. 
Um, so that's just one other consideration uh, to remember. Anyway, I've got it and let's try this again. I have my image. You know what, let's just show a different example. This is real time folks, throwing some coins down on the laser as we speak. So I'm gonna refresh everything um, just to show you this is fast, right? Again, this is all about efficiency. And uh, let's say I wanna do some challenge coins, wood coins, you know, for all the players on the team, you know, with the gift bags or whatever, right? And here I've centered, centered it. There, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna frame out the material. And this is gonna go ahead and again, um, account for the size and this shape, there wasn't an extra little dangle or keychain. All right, it's measured it out. I know it, it's good. And you know, if I had my settings in here, I'm just gonna, these aren't the real settings, let's just pretend, but then I would hit process. And now it is reading the material. So it, I, I showed one piece what I want it to look like and now it's doing that smart processing, uh, that batch fill. And so it did, it actually picked up all the other images here. So I had two, four, six coins here. And so it's auto, uh, it's doing the module trajectory of where everything's gonna go. You can see what it would look like. So this is how, uh, this is a Galvo laser. This is super slow, we could speed it up. It's just gonna show you the path. Um, this is real time, this goes a lot faster. Um, but you get the idea. So I would then run it from here and I would just keep adding more pieces. So now let's show a lot of these projects with more, uh, you know, just fast sped up showing the process. But that's just a quick tip, again, uh, from Creative Fabrica, um, a great source for, for other monograms, fonts, all kinds of things. I've used a ton uh, and really, really a big fan, um, you know, of, of all kinds of ones that I found different, you know, fonts and whatnot. So you can check that out. Check the link down below for a free, uh, at least get, you know, at the very least, 10 free files. Uh, but check it out. I'm definitely going to be using this always uh, just to get more files. But you can check that link down below to learn more. All right, back to the batch processing with the conveyor. So these little wooden coins are super fun. And I love, you know, challenge coins are really cool to do uh, with the metal, but these little wooden ones, uh, this particular blank, it's a really a quality wood. It's more of a hardwood. Uh, it engraves really well. And you can have like a little worry stone uh, that has a message on either side. People can hold in their pockets. These would be great uh, to have at a booth. You could even do these as giveaways. Um, you know, have a little branding on one side and maybe a message. Super affordable and you can make quite a few. Um, um, or you could do big batches for, for different applications, get some custom orders. Uh, but here you can see with the camera, it does a really good job. Maybe there's one or two where the alignment's a little bit off, but it's it's pretty good uh, considering the volume of how many I did here. So uh, here you can see we got a message. It's got a good engraving actually etched in. No sanding was required once you get your, your settings dialed in. But yeah, you could do metal, right? You absolutely could do metal. If you're gonna do a quick, you know, a quicker scoring pass or an engraving, you could definitely do it quick. Now, the possibilities with the F1 Ultra are are pretty impressive, right? You can do some deep engraving like this. Uh, these are some other things. These are a lot longer, so you're not gonna batch out these. These, you know, some of them, if you're doing super deep like that lion, it can take up to a couple hours, right? If you're doing the deep embossment feature, plus you can't do embossment and the conveyor at the same time. But if you wanted to just do, you know, deep, deep engraving, you could still get some deep engraving, um, or you could just do the quick passes. But metal coins are another option as well. Um, and speaking of metal here is some just little chip clips some uh, I was curious if the light if it would be too shiny to reflect but it actually did a great job even at the angle uh, here was able to engrave the metal very quick I could do a big batch of these so um, the one thing is shiny or reflective materials might not be picked up as easily in the camera uh, these dog tags are kind of like anodized aluminum that worked really well and um, make quick work of those. Uh, here's another one. You could just do some jewelry holders. So these are uh, pre-purchased, you know, items that have the little slits for earrings or a necklace, and then just branding each one like so. You can make your own. Just get some cardstock and and cut it all. Uh, but these are really nice. Uh, the F1 Ultra can also cut metal. Uh, can do you know thin metal, thicker metal. But here's some more ideas and applications. Uh, with a conveyor. All right, another fun little project doing some silicone coasters here with some batch processing coasters again. Uh, this particular silicone didn't quite get the settings exact because it was different for each color, but that black one really uh, showed 
showed up nicely. Uh, another project I love to do are these little tins, right? So these could be catch-alls, little keepsake boxes. Uh, this particular one comes with a mini box inside a larger box, kind of like the Altoid mint tins, and they slide. Um, so this one, you can see the diode laser on the left, the blue light, and then here's the IR, uh, the fiber laser. And great, uh, awesome possibilities here, wedding gifts. Uh, you could batch out a ton of uh, things, favors uh, for weddings or events. Uh, this is really where this machine shines. Dice, so I wanted to have fun uh, with some dice. These are some wooden dice, and I went ahead and uh, did a little design on each side. These are just like activity dice, and so here I'm using the diode laser, and you know, you roll the dice to, you know, your kid's bored. Hey, roll the dice. Oh, it says art, do art, roll the dice. Uh, you know, you know, do some exercise or roll the dice, make something. And so uh, there are quite a few dice here, a, a ton of them. And so you can see as it went through, this is kind of a rounded shape. It's not perfectly square. So some of it, the camera didn't quite recognize. I had no issues with anything on the conveyor. This one a little bit, cause this was more of a rounded 3D object. And so on some of them, it didn't quite pick up as well. Um, you can see even uh, it went to the conveyor itself and kind of just it engraved on my conveyor. So they got little tattoos on there. But this was a fun idea in doing dice. I just wanted to try it out with, with volume with this many. Uh, but maybe this particular batch that I got was really rounded. Um, and so it was just kind of hard to pick up um, because it's a tall kind of rounded die. Uh, but anyway, this was a fun project. Did quite a few uh, this way. So this is another idea. Again, smaller items. Is, is perfect, like these poker chips, right? You can do a custom set of poker chips. Uh, you could do a, you know, a company logo. You could do a special special birthday, retirement celebration, do some custom, customize some poker chips. So this was another fun little thing and just so satisfying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that conveyor is pretty satisfying. All right, so a couple ideas, some different projects, lots of little smalls just showing you uh, how you can batch out a ton. Uh, great for big custom orders, uh, getting things done fast. So it really is uh, some pretty impressive technology with this conveyor. And so just kind of testing out some of the new possibilities, giving you some ideas, some, some inspiration. So definitely want to check out the conveyor. Uh, the F1 Ultra itself is amazing. Like it can do so much more than what I showed here. So if you haven't already watched this video, it talks about the deep engraving in metal, cutting metal, so much more. You can check out that video as well. And there you have it, the conveyor with the Ultra. If this video provided value for you, please consider subscribing to see more videos like this. Uh, got a lot of other laser content specifically on this new F1 Ultra. Some more videos coming soon as well. Yes, Xtool did send me the machine uh, in, in exchange for content. Uh, so videos and, and whatnot. So full disclosure there. Uh, however, I do love Xtool. I love their, their user community. There's so many users. Uh, lots of tips in the Facebook groups. Uh, lots of other videos showing like why really I feel Xtool is such a great a great company to work with. Great machines. Uh, if you're interested in this machine, in this conveyor, uh, you can use this QR code or you can use the link down below. It is an affiliate link, uh, so a small portion of each sale comes back to us, helps support the channel. Uh, there's also a bonus coupon in there as well. Uh, if you're looking to get it, usually the best deals come when these machines first roll out, uh, so get those sales uh, while they're there. And again, lots of other laser content applications with this. Uh, with the P2, a CO2, a diode, with lots of other laser machines. And yeah, you can dig around for some woodworking as well uh, if you're into that. Thank you for watching. And uh, any questions about this unit or something else you want to see me incorporate in the future, uh, just leave a comment down below and I'll try and incorporate it in future videos. Thanks again for watching and until next time.